Hello and welcome to our first recorded series on how to set up your virtual booth space for our virtual Federal Small Business Conference, November 4th through 6th. To access the Exhibitor Center, Exhibitor Service Center, you will need to access our event website by visiting samesbc.org. Once you have reached the home page of our event website, you will need to access the Exhibitor Service Center, which can be found on the home screen in the top upper right hand corner. Once you have clicked on the Exhibitor Service Center, you will need to use your booth coordinator exhibitor login information, which will include an email and password. If this information needs to be changed or updated to someone else, please email exhibit at same.org. Once you have logged in to the Exhibitor Service Center, the first step will be updating your exhibitor demographic information. This button can be found under in this section on the left side toolbar. Please note that most of this information has already been pre-filled out when you booked your exhibit booth space. However, we have added questions and updated information, including the company description number of words, and as a tier one booth, you do receive 300 characters. So we recommend that you go back in, make sure all the information is updated and correct, so that our site has the most accurate information for your exhibiting company. As a reminder, attendees and other exhibitors will use your answers to these demographics to search you as an exhibitor. And if you are a large business, this will be a great opportunity to help small businesses find you and vice versa, small businesses. This will be a great opportunity for small businesses to find you as an exhibitor as well. As you scroll down, you'll see, again, some of the questions have already been answered, but if you have not answered a specific question, please make sure you do so. And once you have updated all of this information, please make sure that you scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Save Changes. Once you have saved all of the demographic update changes to your account, the next step will be uploading your documents, videos, and graphics to your virtual booth space. Your virtual booth space setup can be found under in this section on the left side toolbar. As you see, this, this page contains the document, exhibitor chat hours, online product showcase, press release, and videos that you will be updating as a tier one exhibitor. This is also where you will update your graphics for your virtual booth space. As you can see in the documents tab, I have pre-uploaded three documents, but still need to upload two more. To upload the documents, please make sure you click on add, which will generate a new screen. This is where you will place the title, description, display image, which will show next to the document and give the attendee a better idea of what the document entails, and your actual document. As a reminder, this document upload can be a PDF file, Word document, PowerPoint, or Excel file. Once you have uploaded all of the needed information, please make sure you hit the save button, which is found in the left-hand corner of the screen. As you can see, the document that I just uploaded Federal Small Business Conference now shows up in my document uploads. If for any reason you need to go back to update a document or correct <laughs> the information added, you will just go back to the edit button, which will generate all of the information you have up previously uploaded and will you allow you to add any updated information. As a reminder, once you have updated this information, please make sure you have hit save. And for any reason, if you need to delete a document, that can also be done in the edit button as well. The same process as the add, edit, and uploads go for the online product showcase press release feature, which will ask you the title, subtitle, body of press release, city, state, country, contact information, and then you are also given the opportunity to upload the logo or graphic and file as well. 
Down here, you will find your video upload. And as a reminder, your video upload must be a MP4 video, no more than 50 megabytes. However, if you do not have an actual document, the system does give you the option to upload said video document or a URL. This might be a YouTube link or another platform where the video lives. The video upload also includes title, description, and the option to upload a display graphic. After you have uploaded the four pieces of information and documents, I recommend that you upload your vis exhibitor chat hours. If you have not already done so, this button will be add, not edit. But since I've already updated some information, I will go over here and click edit. As you can see, I've updated some time slots based on my availability. Please note that the exhibiting chat hours are based on your availability and saved in Eastern Standard Time. So as you can see, I have noted here on my Friday, November 6th, that I'm available from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. If I wanted to add any hours, you can click on the Add Hours button below the schedule. Select the day that you are available. And in this case, I want to update Friday, November 6th. And place my new schedule of 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Once you've updated this information, please make sure you hit save and you will now see my updated hours of I'm available from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., but then also available 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. If you needed to go in and update any hours, just click on the day that you are interested in updating. And include the new hours that you are available. As you can see, we have added the hours for Tuesday. Um, as a reminder, this is optional, but we will have our government agency attendees going through our exhibit hall. So you can select the option to be available for our government agency hours only. And once you've added all of your hours into the chat box, just go up here to the save button, hit save, and you will now see your updated schedule. Please note that as of right now, all hours are tagged as offline, but you will appear online once we get to these dates and times. The next and final step you will need to complete is uploading your graphics for the virtual oh. tier one booth. Because I've already added some graphics, this button says edit, but your button, if you have not already done so, will be add. And as you can see, as a tier one exhibitor, you have the marquee, desk, TV, commercial option, and then a left and right pull-up banner. You have the option to either drag or drag and drop your document in each section, or you can go to actually upload the document. Once you've uploaded the document, it will give you the option to trim and edit if you choose to do so. However, if the graphic shows up correct on your screen, all you need to do is come down to the screen button and hit confirm. The same process can be done for the center desk and the left and right stands. As a tier one exhibitor, you also have the opportunity to upload a video commercial that will automatically play when an attendee visits your booth space. SAME recommends that this commercial is no more than 30 to 45 seconds long as the, as the actual commercial will play once the exhibitor clicks into your booth. But once the exhibitor clicks any documents, videos, or company information, the video will stop playing. As you can see, you can select your file 
and it will be uploaded here. And as a reminder, this file needs to be an MP4. Once you have uploaded all of your graphics and video, please make sure you hit the Save button. You will be able to see a example of how your virtual booth space will look by clicking here on the 2D booth preview. And as you can see, the video that I have uploaded had already started playing. All of my graphics appear centered and correct. And all of my information that is uploading, that I have uploaded, can be found in the designated document areas. For an example, the graphic that you will be uploading for each upload will appear here and the, the attendee will either be able to automatically play or transfer the document into their electronic conference e-bag, which then is pre-uploaded and saved for them to review or come back to at the end of the conference. I also listed our company website as exhibitors can directly link to your website through the virtual booth space. Down here, you'll see a back button which will take the, the attendee back to the exhibit hall screen. The chat feature, which once available, will show my availability and schedule. The appointment button, which will be related and associated to only large business and government agencies participating in our networking matchmaking match networking sessions, and then contacts. Contacts is where an attendee can click and see who from your company is attending the conference. They will have the availability to individually and privately chat those individuals listed, or if they wanted to chat the overall company slash exhibitor, they would click here on this exhibitor chat feature. And since everything looks correct regarding all of my uploads and graphics, I can log out of that document and confirm that everything has been updated and working well. As a reminder, we'll be, we will be sending periodic how-to video tutorials regarding this information. We will go into detail of how the exhibit hall looks how an exhibitor will access the exhibit hall and how they will access your boot space. But in the meantime, we ask that you spend the next few weeks updating your exhibitor demographics and virtual boot space uploads and graphics. As a reminder, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at exhibit at same.org. And we are so excited to have you at our virtual federal small business conference and we will talk to you soon.